Oh, hey, Brooklyn. What are we talking about today? Dating. Ugh. Is there anything more awkward? I don't think so. Okay, so how do you feel about those dating apps? Does anything bug you about them? What doesn't bug me about dating apps? First of all, have a fucking profile picture. Let's start there. And then it's all the pickup lines. Have you seen what passes for flirting? Sup, you up, into, hung, verse. First of all, yes to all of those, but have some respect on a lady. Okay, okay. So what are you into? <sighs> Kind eyes, a fat wallet, and a big dick. Ooh. Ooh, anyone interesting? Yes, and they're 10 feet away. Oh, excuse me, are you key grip 69? Hi, I'm Brooklyn Heights. I'm 6'7", fun, flirty, emotionally unstable, and I'm looking to meet hot singles in your area. Sit down, sit down. down. Welcome to One Queen, Five Queers! Woo! Yes. I am Brooklyn Heights, the queen of the North. And if you're sitting here looking at me and feeling nervous, excited, maybe a little bit horny, <laughs> then good! <laughs> because today we are talking about dating. Mm -hmm. But before that, let's get into some introductions. Cookie Von C. Yes, madame? What is something petty that would make you end a date? If a man is there picking his teeth, mm. you know, he just had, you know, steak, pulled pork, whatever it is, and he's like, no, baby. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. You know, definitely. decorum. Decorum? Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice. Hi. Hi. Describe the last person you had sex with in three words. OK. Hunky. Cat person, all one word. Minimalist. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Come on, minimalist top. Sensory experience. <laughs> <laughs> Nisi, how Hello. far have you gone on a first date? <laughs> well, as a Virgo, you know, we don't kiss and tell, but I will say that it lasted 24 hours and, you know, we might have gone to a city or two. Okay. I want to go on a first date like that. <laughs> Period. Period. <laughs> Mateo. Yes, darling. How many dates have you been on in the last year? You mean the two that I had while coming here? <laughs> <laughs> the two that you've had while being here. While being here, yeah. I mean, those would be the most recent. Akio. Yes. What is the ideal amount of time a first date should last? A conservative 45 minutes. It's like 30 minutes, but just in case, 45. Mm -hmm. No more than an hour, for sure. Really? Yes. Now, does everyone have those first date butterflies? <laughs> Good, because it's time to begin. What is the easiest way for someone to get you into bed? A black American Express card. Oh. <laughs> oh That's it. Metal. Yep. I feel like for me, it's like consent, confidence, charisma, and if you can watch anime. <laughs> for me, I feel like it takes a lot because not everyone deserves to be in your space and to get your body. So I'm just like, Amen. I'm very, very, very picky. Yeah. Nothing gets me wetter than seeing somebody nice and kind to strangers, and especially people who society deems less than. You can tell so much about somebody by the way they treat people in the service industry. Yes. Just ask. Like, Just ask. I, know it's, I think it's really hot to see someone like be horny. Yes. There's something like <laughs> really like hot about someone being like, do you want to come back to my place? And me be like, <laughs> Okay, like, I will go, like. You want them to make an effort and be like, hello, I would like to have sex with you. And you're like, great, that sounds like fun instead of you having to do all the work. Yeah, I wasn't gonna ask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you have sex on the first date, do you leave or do you stay till the morning? 
I don't want any evidence. <laughs> I'm literally <laughs> going. Like, if I'm calling an Uber, the Uber's already downstairs. We just finished her in the bathroom. I'm like, okay, calling the Uber, <laughs> getting the thing. Bitch, I'll walk. I used to be that independent bitch. 12, 1 a.m., my ass, I'll run back to my own. I'm not trust you. I know you. See, as a pansexual and who dates women and femme folks, they will move in with you. <laughs> and so, like, I'm out of there once I've had my fill mm -hmm. and we've had our fill, the sun's mm -hmm. coming up, you know, it's time to go. And I'm not a cuddler. Do not yeah. touch me while I'm trying to sleep. Oh, I can't. I Now I'm like, this person is around me, they're asleep, I don't want to disturb them. And now I'm just yeah. lying there like this. Look like, up, no. Exactly, so look up, count sheep, and fall asleep. <laughs> I like wrap myself around my girlfriend when I'm sleeping. Like I literally, okay. leg over, she can't breathe. Let's be in each other's skin. Oh no. If she moves away from me, I think she hates me. Have you ever dated somebody still in the closet? I definitely have. I've definitely been that like bridge to let them know. Cause you know, as I look and as I present, some people are like get naturally curious about, ooh, what is that? What is that gonna feel like? What is that gonna be like? So I'm like, for the ones that are actually like respectful about the approach and actually take some genuine care with it, I'm like, yeah. okay, well, let me let me show you the colors of the rainbow. Okay. Girl, I'm a tranny. Half of the I fuck her the <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, let's be real here. <laughs> Girl, like I don't know how I don't know how better to put it. Like, oh yeah, it's not a lot of open men who want chicks with dicks. No, you know what? Next you know question. What? No, period. Next question. Let me. Tell I'm you. trying to keep y'all on TV here. Believe what you gotta bleep, but fuck. Okay. <laughs> the world is filled with people looking for love. But finding the one is not as easy as it sounds. Our queriest reporter, Dwight, hit the streets to find out what you really think of dating. So I wanna ask you some dating questions, is that okay? What is one of your dating pet peeves? Oh, so many things. Long, gross nails. Long walks on the beach. Yes. Oh, girl. Let's go and fuck. When they don't believe that I'm interested in them. When they are checking their phone constantly at the dinner table on yeah. a date. Like, like noses. Oh like, my god. Like who? Liars. They lie about their penis size. <laughs> <laughs> I hate liars. Yeah. Yeah. You get there and it's like womp. And you're like, excuse me, yeah. that's not what I was expecting. What's a favorite date for you? Like, you know, a first day, like? I just like an event, if that makes sense with dating. Somewhere that's spontaneous, I don't care, take me there. Sex before the date or after the date? After the date. Okay. After the date for sure, before right? Before for me. I say don't give it up on the yeah. first date. Well, if the sex is not good, I'm like, do I really want to continue dating you? Yeah, I know that. Right? Exactly. Okay. Why waste of time? Any dating advice you would give you know, to someone like me that wants to like, you know, start being a little slutty and start dating. I would love to be more slutty, so like, I don't know. Swipe right on everybody. Don't fall for the opportunist. Think about the long game, not the short game. Yeah. You seem like a great person and I think that should shine through and you're gonna find that one that you're meant to be with. You seem like a great person and I think that should shine through. Oh. You can't pour from an empty glass. Oh. Once you take care of yourself, then you can begin to be with someone else. Love that. What part of a date makes you the most anxious? You get to the restaurant and you're just there on your phone, just trying to look busy, look occupied. Oh, I waiting, know. waiting, you know, to like finally like see them. Yeah, exactly. The most anxiety I have is when the check comes out. Mm -hmm. Like, am I supposed to pretend to offer to pay? <laughs> oh, you do the rustle in your No, purse. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. No, I like, Where so that's that? the anxiety. So I like, as I've grown older, I now just sit back and just look at you and smile. <laughs> <laughs> the first kiss always oh, has me like. It's nerve wracking. Yeah. What if they're bad? <laughs> or they have bad breath. And so they lean in and you get a whiff. Yeah. Oh my oh. God. Or a bad kisser <laughs> or like. <laughs> Do you see my And if someone is a bad kisser, it's yeah. curtains. <laughs> Done. Now I have to block you. Like, it's yes. just too much pressure. Yeah. Like, all I can remember is the bad taste in your mouth. I can't yes. even remember the. Oh my God, let's talk about it. I told this man once, this is not someone I've dated. I think I was like 19 years old. I was dancing in South Africa in a ballet company, and there was a straight guy in the company who had the worst breath. 
It smelled like a squirrel had died in his throat. Oh my God. It was so bad. And he was outside one day having a cigarette and he was like, yeah, I, this girl never called me back. I just can't seem to get a girlfriend, blah, blah, blah. I barely knew this man and I was like, Maybe it's your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Just so you know, everybody talks about how bad your breath <laughs> I was like, I did, I did him a kindness that day. You're I a star him, for that. I let I him know. I appreciate that. So Leave he could it deal to with Brooklyn the Heights. And his, his breath got better. Do you make the first move on a date? I like to follow the energy that's given because I'm already coming with the energy as is. Like, uh -huh. I'm already coming with it. They have to match the energy. I'm a sexual person, so... <laughs> I, I'm also a Pisces and I'm older. I feel like if there's something that I want, mm -hmm. I go get it. She said, if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Yeah! <laughs> I'm not gonna make the first move. One, I don't like embarrassment, so that's the first thing. But make the move and you're like, absolutely not. I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna, like... <laughs> you're gonna I'm go gonna pass out. And climb out the window. <laughs> I want someone to take the reins on a date. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. I, I want agree. them to I fucking order for me. Yeah. Do not do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> you do not know what I'm feeling. I just like to make sure that every little detail in my life is figured out at all times. I am a control freak. So hey. Yeah. <laughs> but the first step is admittance, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You're halfway there. Huh. <laughs> all right. Art class is in session. Okay. I want you to draw me a picture of your ideal first date activity. You have two minutes. Go. <laughs> Three, two, one. All right, Miss Fonsi. So I refused to draw a picture and I wrote my answers down. <laughs> um, so I love, no matter what, a dinner and a movie. I really want to go to like a little jazz club, you know, on a date. I think that would be so sweet. Or a comedy bar, you know? Why not laugh with somebody you're trying to get to know, right? Maybe a state fair. I'm obsessed with state fairs. Oh my God, like fuck the rides, I go for the food. <laughs> Maurice. Mine's gonna make you all say on, not to brag, but like, um, a, like, I really like a date that is like a bike somewhere. It's kind of almost a prerequisite that we both ride bikes. Cause I really like riding my bike. Here is a backpack with two thermoses of coffee or tea or any other hot beverage and like a good view, maybe some like moon watching or like stargazing. Yeah, that's nice. It's really, I know it's like a little vanilla, but I just think it's nice and you can talk to a person and I can't like, <laughs> I'm not a movie person. Yeah. I don't want to like sit next to someone I kind of just met for two hours and not learn a thing about them. That sounds like my ideal date. <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me. Don't, don't look don't, at me. Please don't, don't, touch touch me. Me. don't touch me. <laughs> Nisi, how about you? So, um, you know, I'm an artist, so here we are. Um, this is a plate of random food, but you always have to feed me. You take me on a date and it's not food related, I don't wanna go. I love activities, so feed me and then let's go do like go-karting or roller skating. Ooh. All right, Mateo. <laughs> Fine, okay, so here's my ideal perfect date. I know it's giving very lazy. <laughs> we are cuddling up, watching anime. Listen, a perfect day for me sometimes involves a nap. A little juice by the bed because you know, diabetes. I don't wanna go low and then have a seizure on him. Akio, how about you? Mine is Food and culture. I'm an angry bitch. So when I get hungry, I get hangry. And so if you would like me to be on my best, like my best self, feed me. And let's do something that it relates to culture. What is the worst first date activity you have ever had to do? When I was younger and I didn't know that I could just leave the date. Mm -hmm. And so it was a horrible date and it was just going on and on and on for hours. I felt like I needed to be polite. Yeah. I just sat there for four hours trying to be polite. But four oh, hours? I, 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 <laughs> no, I, now, now I understand your, your 45 minute rule. <laughs> oh God, Out of the 175 experiences from 13 till now, I want to say 160 of them were not so good. With all this body, yaddy, yaddy, I was giving it away to just anybody that could put it in and then realistically, I wasn't getting really much out of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those experiences, I wish I could take some of them back and reclaim some of my youth a little bit. I'm glad that they've made me who I am today because a bitch can definitely say no now. Right? I don't prefer to, but I almost always will just like stick it out. No, I feel you. Yeah. And just be like, all right, well, this is what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> 
I think more people need to ghost, and I think more people need to like respect the curve and just like get ghosted gracefully. I can't do but it. I demand communication from people. Yeah. Thank you. Period. I demand it. But at the same time, I have a really hard time giving it back. Yeah. <laughs> What is the biggest lie you've ever told on a date? I'm so honest. Like, I don't want anyone to think I'm a big up person or nothing. I tell them, like, listen, I still live at home. I still do these things. I pay rent and I pay my bills. So this is 100% me and what your fan forgets. <laughs> I think the biggest lie I've ever told is that I wanted to see them again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is the moment of the show where I reveal a big secret about one of you. And the rest of you have to try to figure out who it's about. <laughs> I love this part. Oh God. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? Yeah! Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Whose secret am I about to reveal? It's time for Secrets Out. One of you has been working as a server at weddings and banquets, and you've been offering up service with a smile and a side of oral sex. Oh yes, that's right. After the event is done, you are hooking up with the people you just served. I'm assuming. Who do you think it is, Cookie? I mean, you said you are at 175 and counting, so maybe you. I can see it being Cookie too, quite honestly. I'm, mm, period. Do I strike you as the type <laughs> of woman? Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In a word, yes. <laughs> like, that really does sound like... <laughs> <laughs> God, how you guys... Uh, it's not an insult, it sounds hot. You see? I, that's both Mateo. Oh my God, what are you... <laughs> ah, this is disrespectful. Hi. Mateo, who do you think it is? I think it's Maurice. How y'all better look? She's giving... Look how innocent. Oh! <laughs> oh <laughs> Scout. Akia, who do you think it is? I definitely am going with Maurice. Oh, thank you. You're going with Maurice? You're so shocked. Yes. All right, well, who is it? It's me. No, not me, because I'm really, you had me shook. I was really shook, like, You're did I do this? You're thinking, is it me? <laughs> did I mean to do this? Did I do this and forget about did it? Did I get the Oscar? <laughs> Someone sort of made an eye or two whilst I was setting up an event. After I clocked out, instead of taking the elevator down, took the elevator up and was in my workplace for an hour longer than I should have been. Throwing like some neck. <laughs> Throwing some neck. <laughs> Throwing some neck. Like it was like three in the morning. It was like a, my door's unlocked, use my shower then. Oh wow. Yeah, it was cool. Well, just like some of the people I've dated, Absolute vodka is totally versatile. And baby, it was born to mix. You can use it to create so many incredible drinks, just like the ones here. So, inspired by that, I want to know, what kind of love life were you born to have? Wild. Wild. Unforgiving. Consistent. I want it to be passionate. I want you to kiss me like I'm the cherished diamond of this world, but mm. fuck me like you hate me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Soft, loving, just caring. I just want to feel like I'm the most important person to you at all times. I think my track record would imply kind of being <laughs> a really big, like, softy, kind of like that, like, everyday romance. Like, going to the grocery store together. <laughs> yeah, I like that Stop. a lot. Stop. <laughs> you just want a Sunday kind of love. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. going to be childless, because let me tell you. Good. Oh, my <laughs> God. The children Imagine. at the grocery store, <laughs> one goes and one stays to give the other one peace and serenity for, for an hour. Putting plan B in my smoothies. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Are friends with benefits destined to be messy? Uh-uh. I feel like if you have the right rules in place, yeah. like, you're good to go. I would never have sex with any of my friends. Nope, I wouldn't either. I don't, wouldn't necessarily say that I wouldn't do friends with benefits because they're, like, right fucking there, you know? And it's like, well, like, they're right there. Like, it's like, kind of like a convenience thing. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you have to make sure that 
there's an aspect of that person you absolutely hate. <laughs> like, you just <laughs> cannot stand. Wow. Like, bitch, I you're ugly. Like I, like, I can't wake up to you in the morning, but that dick, whoa. Oh. I guess I'm doing friend with benefits wrong. <laughs> I'm doing it maybe in a different type. I might be That's doing it wrong. That's another thing. Hold on. That's another thing. You can't get too friendly. I don't care about your life. Don't ask me how I'm doing in school. Don't ask me what I'm doing at my nine to five. Don't ask me, oh, how's your cat? Bitch, why do you want to know? <laughs> You're what are the fuck with you? <laughs> Ask about this cat. <laughs> so how old should somebody be before they're allowed to start dating? Oh, I think my son set you up with this. <laughs> he was like, how old do you have to be, you know, to start dating? And I'm like, old enough to be okay with the uncomfortableness of saying no. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's necessarily fair to say because I feel like a lot of us had to learn that. It's important to emphasize being able to have difficult conversations because I told you, I go to the bathroom and I head out, like. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, at this age, I'm finally getting to that point where I can have those conversations. Like, I had to tell someone before my partner that I'm with now that, like, honestly, after seeing them a couple times, I just, like, you're really nice, but you're not for me. And that's me at, like, I'm turning 30. I had to learn that. And it's important to kind of give opportunity for that. The funny thing is, I was mature enough to have those conversations to let people know, you know what, I'm not interested. At thir like thir 11, 13, da, da 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 all the way through. And I think just now, I think I'm kind of fully understanding the no's from back then. I'm raising a son, I'm, he's a trans boy, but I'm raising a son and it's really important for him to not only respect no's, but not take it personally. Mm -hmm. He now has to go through life not fully being accepted, feeling like he has to prove his masculinity. Toxic masculinity teaches us that if somebody says no to you, you have to be like, oh, blue balls, oh, this, oh, whatever, like, stop being approved. Like, like people can't take rejection easily. I don't want to send him out into the world or like, okay him to take some, you know, young girl out on a date. And if he leans in for a kiss and she backs up, he's offended and it rocks his world and his self-esteem. But I have a question for you, because I, in my mind, with all the beauty standards and whatnot, I was mm. like, oh, they're saying no because of something to do with my being black. How do you let a young person know, a young person of color know that this will be a thing for them? And how do we teach them to combat that in healthy ways so that way they can actually feel like good about themselves, feel mm -hmm. cherished and feel like a value. Create a safe space at home, mm -hmm. create a loving, accepting, body positive environment at home. And then when your child or whoever it is goes out into the world, if they don't get it, they at least know what it should feel like. Absolutely. Very good. I love mm -hmm. that. Thanks. This is Come Again, a chance for us to look back on the moments in our lives that made us who we are. Every queer person has a story. We've all lived it, been through it, and survived it. And that's what makes us so strong. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Cookie, what was that moment for you? I would say finding ballroom. Mm -hmm. Being a black trans woman and finding a space made by black trans women for black trans women, it honestly has just been absolutely wholesome. I'm so grateful to have a space where I can go and feel and be able to be me, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, at all times. That I'm able to just walk down the runway and, you know, sell what I'm selling and receive the glory that, to, oh, sorry. To receive the glory that I deserve, mm -hmm. you know? Because yeah. walking down the streets every day, I'm not fully able to, you know, receive and be appreciated how I should be, mm -hmm. you know, as a trans woman. Yeah. So I'm definitely glad that I found my community and that would be ballroom. I love that. Aww. Thank you, babe. I want to know, would you ever take a shit in a date's house? Ooh. Ah. Ooh. No. If I had to, yeah. I will. Oh. I actually know of a couple who've been married now for 15 years. She came over to his house. She had dairy. She's lactose free. Ooh. Lactose intolerant. Needed to go. Plugged his toilet. <gasps> and they spent like three hours because it plugged the toilet and then it started overflowing. <gasps> no. And so they actually spent the majority <laughs> of that first date him like tr like panicking because <laughs> it's overflowing. Her shit was overflowing. No, in. I would die. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be open and honest right now. I, Cookie Von C, suffer from lactose intolerance and IBS. <laughs> <gasps> it's 
It, I'm being dead 100% serious <laughs> right now. I'm being 100% serious right now. But I'm telling <laughs> What if you have to go, though? I will call my Uber. <laughs> I will call, a call my Uber. Oh, call shit. my Yep, it was so nice seeing you. Oh, my God. The, what if it's like Bye, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs>